What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Thursday the 22nd of April and I'm starting and ending today's vlog over at the studio. For those of you that know, you would have seen yesterday that I was actually over here at the studio to end yesterday's vlog, which is now today's vlog because I have actually got the MacBook finished. It's done. It is repaired. It's, you know, it's just back to where it should be. It's just, you know, amazing. Um, I'm so glad that it's been repaired. It has been like losing a limb with not having this. I'm so glad that I don't have to use this screen anymore. And just basically, it's just it's just a hell of a lot better. I can just whip it up now and it's, it's there ready for me, which is always convenient, especially when you're doing what I'm doing, like when I want to upgrade the websites. As I said yesterday, I touched on it slightly. Uh, the MacBook Air, that we've got, which is a very old MacBook. I think it's like five, six, maybe seven years old. Still a fantastic uh, laptop. It's actually Porsche's, I gave it to Porsche, but I had to use it because when I was doing eBay and other bits and pieces, obviously I could hook this up to the telly at home, but it wasn't it wasn't practical because if Aurora gets it and pulls at the HDMI lead, and for those of you that know anything about them, they all have these, which is USB-C. Everything is USB-C. So if I want to use a memory card of any sort, I have to get a memory card reader. But before I get a memory card reader, I have got to get one of these, which is um, a USB, normal USB to a USB-C. So then you can plug in your memory card readers like these that are used and stuff like that. And then it has to go into here, even if you wanted to use the G7X, which I'm using here, to use on the MacBook, everything's USB-C, that's probably the only nitpicking that I could do. Oh, and I've spoke briefly as well about the keyboard. I don't really like the keyboard on the new MacBooks. I prefer the old MacBook keys. They're a lot more tactile than these. These have got these butterflies on them. The touchscreen's gorgeous, it's massive. It's got tactile feedback on it and everything else. It's a really good, really good trackpad. And I've had it all switched over so it left clicks and right clicks and stuff like that. But Macs are amazing. If, you have, if you've never used a Mac before and you're scared of using a Mac, and you use Windows, I would highly recommend them. I'm not just saying that, I would really highly recommend them. Then I've never had one virus on any of the Macs that we've had, never at all. It runs like lightning, so I can literally turn it off and turn it on, and it's on, and I'm on eBay within 10 seconds. That's how fast it is, which is amazing. You want it straight away, don't you really? You don't want to be waiting around or hanging around. So uh, I did a mug. A while ago it was Mike's birthday but he never picked it up last time he was here it was like a Wrestlemania mug it was a, a mug that I had that I'd already put a like a, a transfer on you can see it here where it's faded slightly at the back so I did him that but it's not been you know he's not picked it up which is you know sod's law I suppose we've also been arranging Imogen's uh, June 19th birthday party so that's why we haven't really vlogged anything today we had a day in the garden we were just chilling out and then we were just it's Aurora's going back into nursery tomorrow and she's a little bit apprehensive. So what Sarah's doing is Sarah's talking to her about nursery through the day. So she knows that it's fine that she's coming home, you know, like, are you looking forward to doing this with the dollies? It's normally no, but she says, yeah, but when you have the dollies, you come home and can't you tell me and daddy about it? And the guys, and it's like, yeah. So she's trying to get her in that routine where she knows that she's going nursery, but she's coming home. Chloe's there as well. But Chloe can't go in the room all the time, so it's not practical. She can still see Chloe every now and then. Obviously, if she gets really, really upset, then Chloe can go in and see her and reassure her. But I think it's just a matter of time. I don't think it's going to take her much longer, to be honest with you. And then also, I've had to book Imogen's iPhone 11 in. She's got the new iPhone 11 or the newish iPhone 11. And it had lines going through it where she dropped it. Um, or it had screen burn in it and the bottom left-hand corner as well. So... The guy that did this, it's called iFix Fast, is in Mosley in Manchester where we live. And he is, if there's anybody in the Manchester area that wants a, you know, Apple certified engineer and Android certified engineer, then he's definitely, he's a mate, he's a good lad. He's like, I think he's early 20s, but he's really good, really professional. Um, he's reasonably priced as well. To replace the Mac screen, it cost 70 pound, but I had to source the Mac screen because the one that he was getting was getting pulled off a genuine Mac, so we had to buy this direct from Apple. So it cost around £300 to get the screen. Now we've got the screen, and it's going into 
uh, it went into it, it was only £70. If it wasn't, it was going to cost me about £340 to get it repaired. So I paid a little bit extra, but it was more of a convenience thing. Look, I had to get the MacBook working. If it wasn't working, it was it, I was never going to get it finished. So it wasn't his fault. It was just me that I wanted it to be fixed sooner rather than later. So Mark downstairs is finishing off as well. Sorry, just going back. Imogen's phone's going to be fixed tomorrow. So he's only charging £90. That's for a, uh, a genuine Apple iPhone screen that he's going to fit in there. So, you know, it's, it's perfect. It's ideal. He's going to put that in there. Um, her phone will be fixed. She's also got a theory test tomorrow. Um, we've got to go for Sarah's scan tomorrow. So she's having a scan because she's had like a bit of tummy upset, stuff like that, and the doctors really don't know what it is. So she's gonna have a full scan tomorrow to see if everything's all right. So please, anybody out there that watches us that is concerned, genuinely concerned, because there are people that are genuinely concerned about us and enjoy us and you know have a, um, a brilliant relationship with us. Don't panic or you know, feel like you've got to send a message or anything like that. She's fine. I don't think it's anything sinister. She doesn't think it's anything sinister. But obviously, we've got to be double. Uh, you know, we've got to double check and you know make sure everything's scanned and everything's all right. So she's going to go in there tomorrow. So that's another thing that we've you know been sorting out today. So it hasn't been a dud day because I've got to sit here and speak to you properly for once instead of running around saying I'm printing this and printing that. I am printing stuff. If you listen to the background, it's quiet. That's because I'm gonna do a full run through all the machines this weekend. So all the machines are gonna get hot ends changed. They're gonna get PTFE tubes changed, everything. I'm also gonna try and rearrange everything. I've got me, um, me working apron over there. I'm gonna load that up. So I'm gonna have a craft knife with a top on it and I'm gonna have me hammer and you know be snips and everything else in there because one thing I have is like look there's one there's two sets of snips over here and then there's a deburring tool here so I need them in here on the apron so when I'm walking around they're constantly here I'm lying there's three pairs of snips here so it's not practical because then I'm walking around because it's normally a set of snips a scraper and some pliers or you know needle nose pliers next to every machine if they're on the pin here, then once I come in and I put the pinny on, it's done the the apron, whichever you prefer. Um, it's it's on my person then, so I can just grab it and then put it back and then carry on, which is going to be more practical. But I am going to be repairing and modding and just doing like an MOT on all the machines. Because once it gets to around September, October, it starts to go mental because everybody's buying stuff for Christmas and every, everybody's buying stuff for the cons next year because the comic cons will be coming back next year, 100%. So, um, yeah, they've already said, haven't they, if we won't be going into another lockdown, we'll just be getting an injection or the tablet. So, yeah, you go. So, on that rundown, because I've got a dry mouth now, I am going to end today's vlog. Do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the not notification bell. It does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can. And we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.